Hey, Mike. Yeah, watch anywhere you want, Mike, whatever's easier for you. I'd actually appreciate it if you logged into the Facebook right now. I'm it's showing me a different screen than usual, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Mike, if you can, you need a towel or a t-shirt or something that you can pull on without ripping. I have no idea if anyone's logged into the Facebook. I am. Well, I can't see any numbers or something. Hello there on Facebook. If you can hear me and see me, I am unable to see the chat at the moment, but uh, thank you for joining. Um, if you have one available, a towel or a t-shirt or something similar to that, we will be using it for just a couple workouts today just to help us keep some extra tension as we're going through. Um, you will definitely be able to complete these exercises without it. Um, but if you have one handy, if you have one nearby, go ahead and grab it, please. And we'll get started here in just a couple minutes. Excuse me for staring into the screen, gang. We're just trying to take care of a couple things real quick. Hi, Nancy. How you doing? How are you doing, Nancy? Are you going to do the class? Or are you just coming by to say hi? All right, gang, just one more reminder. Grab a towel and or a t-shirt or something like that. You'll just need it. You'll, be able to, you'll need to be able to pull on it without uh, ripping it apart. That would be ideal. Otherwise, you'll be able to do these exercises without it. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm doing very well, Nancy. Thank you. 
We're going to get warmed up here. Find yourself a little bit of space. We're going to take it out nice and easy. Just start with small circles. Just a quick reminder, as always, go and take your arms the other way. If there are any exercises, workouts, anything that doesn't feel right, that hurts, um, that you just don't like, feel free to modify, change that exercise, skip it all together. It is more important to stay healthy and injury free than it is to do that one exercise. Sorry if my head's cut off on the Facebook right now. I'm trying to find a spot where you can see me. Um, go ahead and take your legs out wide. You're going to reach for that opposite toe all the way back up top. Or reach back down. But like I said, we want to focus on staying injury free. So if there's anything you don't want to do, please feel free to change it or skip it. Can you see me on the screen? Can you see the floor? Go we'll bring those heels on it, kick them up nice and high. Can you just try and adjust the screen a little bit? Yeah. We're going to do a couple adjustments on the camera real quick. We're just trying to get it in frame a little bit better for you. I mean... Go we'll bring that knee up, we'll rotate it out to the outside. If I go one way, you're not going to see the floor. If I go the other way, you're not going to see the floor. Go ahead and bring it on down, squat, and reach it on over. Big reach up and over to the other side. You're going to keep squatting, big squat, and then take a twist. Reach it up as far as you can, warming up your back. down past your heel, reach it all the way up top, send it down, past that other heel, switching feet each time. Our exercises today, we're going to be alternating between cardio and a more strength-based exercise. We're going to do three rounds of each section. In each section, we have four workouts. Please keep moving, keep stretching, whatever you need to do to get warmed up. Hey Alex, uh, each section we have four workouts on round one, you're going to do it for 40 seconds, round two, 35 seconds, and round three for 30 seconds with about 15 seconds in between each section. Uh, let me demonstrate section number one real quick. Our first move is going to be a cardio move and it's going to be burpees. You have a few options here. You can come hands down, feet down, and if you want you can push it up at the bottom. We're going to jump at the top, otherwise shoot those feet out, bring them in, and stand up. You never have to jump if you do not want to. You can make these as hard as you want. Number two, you're going to float your knees two inches above the ground, and you're going to plant your hands, and you're going to fly a hand out side to side. You're focusing on your core here. Try not to twist. Try not to turn. and Keep those knees two inches above the ground. Back to our cardio for number three. You got mountain climbers. You're driving those knees in nice. And quick. And if you can see me all the way on the floor, floor number four, we're going to be working our swimmers, engaging our low back, reach them all the way out, all the way back towards your hips, and then back out front. The assist here, keep your hands on the floor to help support your low back. If there's any pinching or pain here, we'll find you a new exercise. You can always just do a, a regular glute bridge or uh, whatever feels best for you. First section, no towel, no t-shirt, nothing like that. We're just going to get started 40 seconds on our burpees for number one. Find your position. Get it ready. And here we go. As you're working through, remember you can change, you can modify. 
point anytime. But at some point it becomes too hard. Go ahead and slow it down. Take out the push up. Take out the jump at the top. Whatever you need to do to make it through. Focus on your breath. You got about 10 seconds here. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Number two, you're going to be on the floor. You're going to plant the hands. And you're going to float your knees. Your goal is to keep those knees just above the floor without twisting or turning. You want to find your spot, please. And here we go. Send your hands straight out. Nice and controlled movements. We're slowing our breath down. Slowing our heart down. Keeping your abs engaged. You got 15 seconds here. Almost there, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Another round of cardio. You're gonna stay in this same position. Nice, strong tabletop position. Push-up position for your mountain climbers. 40 seconds here. Ready, ready. And here we go. Driving those knees in, light on those feet. You hardly really wanna hear them last. Nice and quick. Halfway there. Focus on the breath. You got less than ten. You got five, four. Three, two, and one. Nice job. One more exercise for section one. And then we'll take it on down to 35 seconds. All the way down to the floor. Middle of your body stays planted. You're trying to pick that chest up as you bring those arms back for your swimmers. Working our low back. Do you ready? Here we go. This is a nice controlled movement. We don't want to jerk back. We want to go nice and slow. Nice and controlled. And if you need to, you plant those hands right under your shoulders and use those for your assist. As you're coming back, your glutes are engaging to help bring you up off the floor. You got less than halfway to go. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. If you have water or a towel nearby and you need it, go ahead and grab it. The garage is pretty hot today. Otherwise, we're heading into round two. 35 seconds for each workout. We're back to our burpees for number one. Go ahead and get ready for it, please. Remember to modify as you need. Burpees, 35 seconds here. We go. When you shoot those legs out, try not to let your hips dip. You want to keep them up nice and high. Keep your body nice and straight and engaged. Option to jump at the top. You got 15 seconds. Less than 10. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. <laughs> Quick breather. You're going to float those knees two inches above the floor. Flying hand one at a time. 35 seconds. Here we go.
Focus on bracing your core. Try not to let those knees move. Control movement. You got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Stand down here for mountain climbers. Nice strong push up position. Go ahead and take it. 35 seconds here we go. Keep your breath nice and strong. Don't let it get away from you. Stay light on those toes. Keep those feet moving quick. You got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Stand down on the floor for your swimmers. Just 35 seconds down here. Go ahead and find your spot. Remember, we're controlling this movement. And if you need the assist, keep your hands on the floor. We're ready in, here we go. Drive those elbows back and through. Don't worry about how high you're getting. You just want to make sure that low back's engaging. And then you're all the way back up. Up. In. If you are using the assist, keep those hands right under your shoulders. Gently press into the floor. Glutes engage. And down. You're almost there. Three, two, and one. Nice job. One more time on section one. Just 30 seconds each. It'll be over before you know. Back on our feet. Quick drink if you need it. You got one more round of burpees, you're going all out in just 30 seconds. Ready, ready, and here we go. Keep up your pace here. More than halfway done. You got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Back on the floor. Float the knees. Get ready to fly a hand. Find your position. You have about a foot and a half between your hands and your knees. You ready? There we go. Lock those knees in place. Find your breath. Slow it down. You're almost there. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. On the floor for swimmers one more time. Mountain climbers, just kidding. Just didn't want to do it. 30 seconds of mountain climbers, and then swimmers. And then we're moving on. Find your position, 30 seconds, mountain climbers, here we go. Keep those feet moving quick. Just 15 seconds here. Less than 10. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're on the floor. Four swimmers. Find your spot. Just 30 seconds down here. You ready? Here we go.
as you squeeze it back, engage the glutes, and back down, keeping your quads on the floor, toes on the floor, trying to pick yourself up with your low back and your glutes. Use the assist anytime you need, you got less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Quick drink, towel off, whatever you need. I'm going to demonstrate our next section of exercises. Number one will be cardio again. You're going to do a jump shot. Your goal is to get down to the floor, pop it up top, keep those feet out wide. You want to come down each time. If you don't want to jump, you're touching the floor, hands come up, nice and quick. This is where your towel, your t-shirt, whatever you got comes into play. For number one, you're going to take a bent position, you're going to keep your knees bent. Your upper half is going to be at 45 degrees. You're pulling into the towel like you're trying to rip it in half. You're going to take it up to shoulder height. You're going to row it into the chest, press it back out, right back to your starting position. Slow on the way up, row into the chest, press it out, and back down. The whole time we were pulling in opposite directions trying to pull that towel apart. For number three, you're going to be in your push-up position. Both knees come in and out. Just like so, jump them in, jump them back, cardio and core at the same time. And then take a seat with your towel for Number four, same rules apply. Tension on the towel the whole time. Tap it to the ground, big twist across the body. Towel out in front, just like so. Pull one, keeping tension on the towel the whole time. We're gonna start with our jump shots. 40 seconds here. Get ready. Goal is to touch the floor. And if you're okay with jumping, you're jumping up top. Get ready. And here we go. Touch and hop. Option, touch the floor. Take it up top, quick as you can. Otherwise, short hop and back down as quick as you can. You're more than halfway done. Keep your legs nice and wide, send your knees out over your toes. Maintain good form, less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Find your towel, your t-shirt, whatever you're using. You're gonna be on your feet for this first one. Remember to keep your knees bent, abs engaged, your torso's at 45 degrees. You're pulling into that towel the whole time. Tension on. You're ready. And here we go. Keep the arm straight. Bring it to shoulder height. Row it into the chest. Push it up. Take it back down. Nice and controlled here. You want to let the only thing doing the movement right now is our arms. Keep that tension on. And Try and slow your breath down here. Keep trying to pull that towel in half. You're almost there. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're back on the floor for number three. Your starting position is your push up position. Both knees come in. In together, up together. You go off to jump them in as far as you can. Get them nice and close to the elbows. Shoot them back out. Get ready. 40 seconds here we go. Trying to land light on those feet each time. You get your shoulders working, get your abs working, keep those feet moving. Less than 15. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice 
base to Find your towel, whatever you're using. One more time. Take a seat. Same rules apply. You're pulling into that towel, keeping tension on, and you're going to twist and touch. You ready? 40 seconds here, we go. Pull into that towel. Big twist. And up, keep that tension on. The harder you pull, the harder the exercise is. We want your abs engaged the whole time as well. Keep leaning back to make those abs work harder. Fifteen seconds. Your shoulders should be feeling it. Almost there. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Down to a 35 second round. Quick drink. Towel off whatever you need. And then get ready to head back to our jump shots, please. <laughs> Just 35 seconds here. Remember, your goal is to make it all the way down to the floor. And if you don't want to jump, you're just coming up and down. Quick as you can. 35 seconds here. We go. Touching up. Trying to keep your upper body upright. Trying to get deep into that squat so you can touch the floor each time. Short up at the top. Explode up. work. Less than 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Find your towel, your t-shirt, whatever you're using. Remember your position, 45 degrees on the upper body. Keep your knees bent to help protect your back. Find your position, 35 seconds. Here we go. Up to shoulder height. Row it in. Press it out. Straight arms back to starting position. Try and maintain the same pace going up and through the entire exercise. This is where we breathe and slow it down. Almost there. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're back on the floor. You're jumping those knees into the chest. <laughs> Just 35 seconds. Your goal is to get those knees as close to your elbows as you can. Find your position, push up position to start. Ready, ready, here we go. Soft. You barely want to hear your feet landing. Nice and steady pace here. You got less than 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Towel in hand. Take a seat. Find your position. Keep those feet on the floor. Tension on the tail. If you're ready, here we go. All the way down to the floor before you head up the other direction. The farther you lean back, the more your abs engage. that tension on, keep pulling into that towel. Almost there, you got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're heading through section two one more time, just 30 seconds each. Grab your drink, towel, whatever you need. 
Short rounds, 30 seconds. We're back to our jump shots. Find your spot. Goal is to touch the floor each time. Ready, ready, and here we go. Up and down, nice and quick. Nice and steady pace here. Try and keep moving the whole time. Remember, no need to jump. You're just coming up and down nice and quick. Almost there, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Last time on this exercise with your toe. Find your position. Knees bent, torso at 45 degrees. 30 seconds here we go. Nice and steady, maintaining tension the whole way through. Control your movement, control your breath. You're almost there, you've got five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. Bring it down one more time. Knees to chest, jumping those feet in. Quick as you can, light on those feet, 30 seconds. Ready, ready, here we go. Your first exercise for number three, you're going to need a little bit of space, but if you only have a little bit of room, you're coming side to side, nice and quick, same thing. As your jump shot, you're trying to touch the floor each time before you shuffle to the other side, keeping those feet moving nice and quick, staying light on those feet. For number two and three, same exercise, both sides. You're going to drop your bottom knee in a side plank, and then your goal is to get your elbow to your knee. Each time, drive it in and up, keeping your hip off the floor, driving that knee to your elbow. We're going to do the same thing on the other side for number three. And then your last one here, now you're back for one more core and cardio exercise. You have a runner's crunch all the way flat, and then you're driving your knee on alternating sides all the way back, coming up to meet that knee each time. Number one, we're starting with our cardio. Then we're going to be shuffling back and forth for 40 seconds. Get ready. <laughs> Wait. Go. Goal is to touch the floor each time before you hop to the other side. Staying light on those feet. Moving nice and quick. If you need to shorten it up, if you don't have a lot of space to work with, one quick step and down. Otherwise, find a little bit of room. One big hop to the side. More than halfway done with round one. 
Maintain your breath. Keep moving nice and quick. Down to the floor in less than 10. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. I'm going to adjust our camera real quick so you can see me. Pick a side, plant your elbow. Bottom knee is on the floor. Driving that knee to the elbow. Working our obliques and our hip flexors. Ready, ready? Here we go. If at any point you need to just hold this position, totally fine. Just try and maintain some tension on those obliques. Your goal is to drive that knee in up as high as you can, touch the elbow, send it back out. You're more than halfway done. Less than 10, 5, 4, 3, Two, and one, nice job. You ready for the other side? Same exercise, other side, 40 seconds. Here we go. Trying to drive that knee in up to that elbow each time. Squeeze it in. More than halfway done. Take a break anytime you need to. You got 10 seconds. Keep driving that knee. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Staying on the floor. You got your owners trying to turn our back. All the way flat to start. Coming up to meet that knee. All the way flat and to the other side. Find your position. You ready? Here we go. Focus on inhaling on your way back to the floor. Exhale on the way up. Try and maintain that breath throughout this entire exercise. More than halfway done. Drive that knee and come up to meet it. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We are on to our 35 second rounds. We need to adjust our camera one more time. We're shuffling side to side. Goal is to touch the ground each time. 35 seconds, get ready. Here, wait, go. Quick feet, light feet. You don't want to hear yourself land. Touch the floor each time before you head out the other direction. Keep breathing, you're almost there. 10 seconds. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're down on our mat. Side plank. Bring that knee to meet the elbow. 35 seconds. Ready, ready. Here we go. Keep that knee moving. Get it to that elbow each time. You're almost there. Nice job. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Are you ready for that other side?
Find your position. Plant that knee. Get ready. Here we go. Slow your breath. Slow your heart down before we head into our next round for cardio. You're almost there. You got 10 seconds. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Staying on the floor for your runner's crunch. All the way flat. Coming up to meet that knee. Get ready. Here we go. We're going to focus on your breath. Inhale back. Exhale as you come up to meet that knee. You got 10 more seconds. Keep up your pace. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Just one more round, 30 seconds each, and that is it. On your feet one more time for your shuffle. Find your space. Quick drink if you need it. And then we're heading into our last four here. Get ready for me, please. And here we go down to the floor each time. We'll be quick for these 30 second rounds. <clears throat> 15 seconds. Keep up your pace. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Bring it down to the floor. Pick a side, side planks. Last time on each side. Thirty seconds each. That is it. Pick a side. You ready? Here we go. Drive that knee in as far as you can. Find your breath. Do not hold your breath. Keep breathing. You're almost there. You got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Final exercise here. Your runner scrunch one more time. All the way flat. Keep moving for these final 30 seconds. Find your position. Get ready and here we go. This is your final 20 seconds. Keep moving. Down to your last 10. Almost there. You got five. Four, three, two, and one. Well done, gang. 
Get some water, grab your towel. I'm not sure why not, but I cannot see any of the Facebook comments right now. I apologize. I will look at them after, and I will comment. I appreciate you being here. We're going to do a quick cool down, but if you can't stick around, thank you so much. Melissa, I can see your comment. Thank you so much for joining in and taking the past classes. I really appreciate it. If you're still with me, a couple stretches to cool down. You're going to cross your right leg over your left, and you're going to reach it on down for those toes. Hold this position for a few seconds. Slow your breath down. Thanks for checking it out, Nancy. I appreciate it. You're going to slowly roll it on up. You're going to send your right hand up and over to open up that side. Stretch out those obliques. Come on, bring it on down. You're going to send your left foot over the right. You're going to start by reaching it on down for your toes. slowly roll it on up and you're going to send that left hand up and over breathe into the stretch bring it on down let's take our legs out wide you're going to bring your hands to your knees you're going to drop the shoulder in take a gentle twist to stretch out your low back Slowly bring it back to the middle and take it to the other side. Gently bring it all the way back up. You're going to kick your right leg back. Stretch out your quads. If you're looking for something to do a little later today, we also have a slow flow yoga class at 5 p.m. And then tomorrow we have an abs and core class at 9 a.m. Go ahead and switch sides for me, please. Pulling up that other leg. And then later in the day, tomorrow, we have a restorative yoga class at 6 p.m. Uh, keep an eye on the Planet Granite website for the upcoming schedule. Keep an eye on our Facebook pages. We're trying to keep you guys active. We have lots and lots of stuff. We have a YouTube channel. I believe it's called Train On. I'm sure if you just Google Planet Granite, you'll be able to find it. Um, Otherwise, I'm going to end this video pretty soon. I appreciate you joining in, and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye.